Yeah, g'day guys, ProBricky, ProBrick exclusive channel. Um, thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll just put it up for you there. And press the bell that'll um, let you know when I'm on, bringing insights into, at the moment, the dark side of female nature. This woman, again, Lauren, is going to tell us about how it all started. Very interesting video. I hope you enjoy it. I'll comment on the way. Let's go. Okay, so I realized that people are like, well, what happened? And that's like the juicy information. <laughs> um, but it's a lot to put in one video. And honestly, I don't have an agenda or anything I'm following. It's just, I really want an outlet to be able to talk about the things I never got to talk about. Um, and here's the thing. Cheating isn't a mistake. It is a choice. That is a fact. Okay, so she's come to the conclusion that no matter what excuses you make, cheating is a choice. It's something that you want to do. It's something that you want to have. It's something that you want to partake in. And there's nobody else to blame but yourself. That's the point this woman's come to. Um, and another thing too, guys, is this can be a way of therapy happening for these people that wreck everything that they've had in their marriage. This can be a form of therapy, and that's why a lot of them do it. They get a sense of uh, healing. They get a sense of helping. Um, but a lot of them, I'm not sure who they, in some cases, who they think they're helping. Sometimes they're just encouraging the bad behavior to carry on. I'm not saying that's the case here, but... A lot of it can be encouraging and enticing to people that haven't cheated but are thinking about it. And this is where I think it can be unhealthy. It wasn't, I didn't slip and fall on some dick. That's not what happened. Um, okay, so get it? She didn't slip and fall on some dick. She went and got herself some dick outside the marriage. And I think this woman's pretty cool in the sense that she's just saying straight up that's what I did with no excuses very down to earth um, and I think any women that are watching this should learn from this that you will pay the consequences yeah life will go on um, I'm sure you can these people make something else out of their lives but to leave something of that you know, caliber of destruction on your resume isn't good for anyone it's not good for the person it's not good for the people they've been involved in if there's children involved there somebody has to be account accountable for that and this is where it all falls over because the poor old children if there are any i'm not sure if there's any in the case of this woman doesn't seem to be they're the ones that suffer but what happened is is instagram Okay, so now she's blaming Instagram. Now, what you guys don't realize is Instagram's a dating site, guys. You know that. By nature, the nature of the platform is dating. Now, a lot of you people didn't know that, but Instagram, TikTok, they're indirectly, if not directly, dating sites. They're ways in which people can connect with one another. Now, if she had Instagram, she would have been able to size this other guy up, what he looked like, what, how attracted she was to him, blah, 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 blah. And for five months, she determinedly, um, deceptively, covertly pursued this man. Now, she's of the impression, and so are a lot of other women, that if you're only talking to somebody, that's not wrong. Well, it is wrong. If your woman's talking to men outside the marriage or outside the relationship, unless it's career orientated or legitimate, that's wrong, man. You don't put up with that. You kick that person to the curb because they're lining up. They're, co they're, they're, co they're covertly monkey branching. They're giving themselves options. They're leaving people orbiting around them so that if, push comes to shove or if they change their mind or if things aren't going right they can just jump to the next person and this is what they do but it doesn't work out for them because in nine times out of ten they end up in limbo destitute buggered up spoiled and ruined 
And that's where this woman is at the moment. She's in limbo, like many of them that try this sort of behaviour. Just to give you a bit of an idea, guys, on what cheating, and that's what this woman has done and many of them do today, um, is related to. It's related to two-facedness, underhandedness. It's entrapping yourself with somebody else. It's putting yourself in a dirty pool. It's defrauding the partner. It comes with pretense. It's an imposition. It's a fraudulence. It's double dealing on the person that you're with. It comes with cunningness and craftiness um, and treachery and hypocrisy. It's a fraud. They, they're um, defrauding you and it's dishonest and deceptive. They're, it's smoke and mirrors. That's some words to do with cheating. And let's just see what else she has to say. Um, I had a social media friend that I'd never met in person. He lived on the other side of the country. Um, and there's a point too, guys. Distance, this is the whole thing, right? This is the whole thing. I'm only speaking to him on the phone. Oh, yeah, no worries. Well, why are you going to so much effort to meet this person? It's the mystery. It's the questions. It's the $64,000 question. It's the tough nut to crack. It's the twister. It's the teaser. It's the stickler. It's the thinks, man. It's the puzzlement, perplexity, and oracle of the whole thing. The inscrutability, the charade, the chiller, the cliffhanging abs abstract of what the possibilities are that could happen to her. Like she said, she didn't just hop on a dick. She pursued that dick like a, like a shark going after a seal. Um, it was the thrill, the secrecy, the riddle, the, the problems and the conundrum and the, um, the drama of it all that sucked this woman in. And these are all the words that hover around lust. This is how lust gets you in. It's the brain teaser and brain twister of the human mentality. Lust. It's the carnality, the urge, the wantonness, the weakness that lust causes, the appetite, the yen, the lavaciousness, the itch. It gives you an itch of eroticism, the cupidity and covetousness, the carnality of lust, the, the thirst, the greed and hunger and libido of lust, just deceiving you into the pursuit of something that's going to be treacherous and destructive and life-changing for the negative. But it's the excitement and desire and the craving that lust causes that causes these people to fall into the arms of somebody they don't even know. We had been social media friends for like six years. So this happened in 2020. I think we became social media friends in 2014. So get this, right? Get this. Don't kid yourself, guys. This woman knew this guy for six years. Women have got people in their DMs texting them, messaging them. They've got people orbiting around them. All women have got this. And you've got to contend with that. Six years this took. Six years, and then it started to intensify in around a five-month period. She probably got um, resent. She probably got some kind of a chromony towards her husband, an animosity, an annoyance, an antagonism or bitterness towards her husband, a covert cynicism, a displeasure, an exasperation, a slight fury or grudge that nobody knew about except her, an Ill, Ill will, a irritation, a malice, a rancor towards her husband that she wouldn't share. The way that she was trying to fix it was through exploring other men. The passion and the outrage she had against her husband caused her to exaggerate towards another man. The bad feelings and ill feelings and vexation, wrath and vehemence that she had caused her to go towards another man. That's what lust does. It causes spite, hurt and miff, offence. 
causes a fog on consciousness and rational thinking, causes an urge to bend towards evil. And it happens every day to people that don't understand that there's a lustful nature inside of all of us. Maybe 2013, I don't really remember. Um, and he had had a girlfriend for about five years. He knew I was married. And so when he would like my stories or, you know, send me a message and ask me something, it was never something that I saw as threatening. It was just a conversation. Nothing threatening about it, guys. This guy's working on her, slowly but surely absorbing her, getting to her to feel sympathetic and affected and attracted. She's imp he's implicating her in his approach, making her think, why would he be asking? Getting her occupied and struck and stirred and stimulated and sold on his interest. He got her on the case of himself. She wouldn't eat, sleep, or breathe without thinking about this guy. She was touched. She was roused. Can you see what I'm saying? This is what lust does. She was taken. She was hooked just by these subtle little messages. I've done it. Oh, it's so easy to do. She became keen. She became attentive to what his next message might be. And this is how... They get seduced. The man was seducing her. She didn't even know. Um, and so when this started at the time in 2020, my husband was working night shifts. Um, night shifts. So she would have been at home possibly getting to the point where she'd have to play of herself or whatever. This I know that sounds rude, but this is what happens. They get tired of that very quick. They lose interest and intent. They no longer into the husband as much again because of the resentments, underlying resentments. They fall away. And that's why we've got to be on our game, guys. We've got to be, um, you know, making sure that the missus is in order, that we've got things in order for us so that this stuff doesn't start to happen. And part of that is no fucking talking to other blokes. And if you're going to double with that, you can go because we know what the results of it are. Here it is here. The results of it initially it was innocent like no it was there... never innocent never innocent when a woman's talking to another bloke outside the marriage it doesn't matter how subtle it is how little or more much it is it's not innocent man don't fall for that it was never innocent it was never going to be innocent it was always an um abuse of the marriage vows because you're beguiling someone, you're, you're building the toll, you're batting the eyes at that person, you're luring them and drawing them, you're causing a, a decoy for them to be drawn towards you and tempt, be tempted by you and then seduced. And that's what happened by this, this look at this, She's trying, she can't see how out of order the whole thing was. There was no intention. There was not even a fear because he was in a relationship. I wasn't no, worried No, that doesn't about matter. It. Some guys will be fucking three or four women on the run. There's a lot of guys that have a, um, a, uh, a rotation of women. I've had that in the past. Somebody on the Monday night, Wednesday night, Friday night, girlfriend Saturday night. That's a rotation until they give in and you just keep rotating. They try and own you and that you don't you to say to them, this ain't they stay on the rotation until they get sick of it or you get sick of it and next. Don't think just like these women too, as okay, she was married, but see how she's got P options, she's making options for herself, doesn't even realise it. So Oops. Whoops. So my biggest takeaway from what I shared yesterday... That guys, I pushed the wrong button, but no, it was never innocent and there always was an intention because you shouldn't be speaking to people behind your partner's back. There was no intention. There was not even a fear because he was in a relationship. I wasn't worried. Again, again, come on. Guys can have a rotation. People have orbit 
others orbit, orbiting around them all the time. And she's creating her little circle of options as well. So it doesn't make sense what she's saying. Um, it's completely out of order with her marriage arrangement. And as she said at the start, there's no excuse for that. But this is showing you how they think. Worried about it. Um... And, and so not being worried about it, I'm sure the husband would have been worried about it. If he had known, he would have been going off his block. So this just goes to show you how negligent and um, belligerent these women can be. But what happened is all of a sudden we started talking every day and there at some point was an emotional... Well, what's communicate? Okay, she's going to say that obviously there was an emotional attachment. At what point, right? Does intimacy begin? It begins at the point of communication. That's how intimacy is formed. So she's talking every... I mean, how ignorant is this woman? She knew exactly what she was doing. ...attachment formed to this person and, like, this internal desire to talk with him all the time. Um, to the point... And what happens is, guys, let me just say this as well. They replace their need to communicate from the husband to somebody else. So the husband starts to get neglected. Like I've said to my girlfriend a couple of times, who, are you, who do you communicate with? Because you're not fucking well telling me anything. And sometimes that could just be an accusation or sometimes it could be some reality behind that. But what starts to happen is, because they're talking to somebody else, then it starts to cause a deficit on their emotional connection with you. So you can see how you can make this all superficial and all innocent on the surface, but underneath it's quite alarming and quite dangerous. And well, it actually is alarming and dangerous. She's walking in a field of landmines. Where I was putting that conversation on mute just so it wouldn't pop up, which obviously should have been a first huge red flag that you're doing something wrong, but that didn't happen immediately. Um, now, what happens is, guys, you've got to understand, as soon as she tried to mute this guy away, that can fuel the underlying urge of curiosity and mystery. And when the curiosity and mystery um, starts inside a woman's mind, you've got no chance of stopping that. So trying to hide it with momentum behind it before she's... See, you've got to chop these things off at the start so they can't progress. This guy would have been having a ball with this, Sheila. I'll tell you something right now. She, she has just been completely sucked in. And unless you... See, this is why this is what happened in the garden with the original sin. She didn't say anything to Adam. She didn't consult Adam. She tried to take on the devil, and the devil ate her up. This woman's playing with the devil, and the devil eats her up. That's how it works. That's how this game goes. And here's the fruit of it. Don't entertain people outside your relationship and so while i would say cheating is a choice i would say that it is very easy to fall into an emotional affair um, if you're not guarding yourself and you will have an emotional you are having an emotional affair as soon as you start talking to someone outside your marriage privy to it not being a responsibility of life or work or that kind of thing. And we don't want to admit it. We don't want to align with this reality. We want to trifle with it and play with it. And this is what happens. Exactly what's happened to Lauren. And so um, I'll get more into exactly what happened, but this is how it started. It started with just liking each other's stories and asking questions and um, having conversations, having someone who was, seemed genuinely interested. 
Um, As if the hub- husband wasn't? Is that what she's saying? The husband wasn't genuinely interested? Like, come on. This woman wanted it. Basically, guys, come on. This woman wanted a cake and eat it too, like a lot of women do. And I'll tell you something now. Let's just get this straight. If you're looking after a woman um, in every aspect and respect, they can and will run away of themselves. And they'll want what's on the other side because it becomes all too easy. And there has to be some kind of abrasion. There just has to be, guys. And that's what it means to be cruel to be kind. You notice these Sheilas stay around with the guys that are, you know, seem to be treating them. No, they're not cheap treating anyone. I mean, they're just staying in their masculine frame. And obviously this man's been a little bit too lenient on this woman. I mean, she seems to have had all the... And this is a problem now with social media. Women do find time to communicate with these stooges that run around behind the husband's backs. They won't come up to the husband and say, I'm going to fuck your missus. I know. Yeah, I mean, if you run into one of these people, it's you, you do something about it and do it fast because they don't care about you, man. They'll destroy your kingdom. They're leeches and they're rogues and they're grubs. And so maybe cheating isn't a mistake, but I think you can, if you're not guarding yourself, fall into something emotional, which can lead to a choice of cheating. And if you're not in a place that um, is secure enough to say no and be wise, then you can really screw up your life. Well, at least she's being honest about it. And she brought in the word wisdom. Wisdom is the kryptonite of lust, guys. It's the kryptonite of lust. And we want to thank Lauren um, for being so transparent. I mean, she's really put herself out there. And, um, you know, we can we can get in behind all this and make her look bad. But I think... Overall, she's a nice woman, but she hasn't been educated on the street to understand that people will just throw you to the, get what they want and throw you to the curb. And it might not necessarily be what you want. I mean, some of these, sometimes these things seem like they're going to be spectacular, but they turn out to be a dud. Well, it cost her her marriage and everything just to have an experience with a dud. But I think at the end of it all, these people make a decision. They take things for granted, terribly for granted. They think about themselves and what their needs are outside of what reality is. And not only do they... The sad part about it is they're not just affecting themselves, but they're affecting everybody in that circle. Some blokes never get over this kind of a trail. And that's why I'm doing these videos. So subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, press the bell, and we'll look forward to the next video and see on, and leave your comments too like how are we going to know what's going on if you guys aren't commenting as well come we're trying to build something here help us do it this is pro bricky bye for now